change, but look back to stay in the history, become nostalgic. When we started, we had nothing on the table or any menu. We had no experience, had no knowledge, <coughs> had no fun, had no office, had no employees, nothing. And we did not look back. We are responding to the current crisis in Africa. To the current crisis in Africa, 1983. And we have to put ourselves inside the feeling of the people. To be able to reform ourselves. This is word. To reform ourselves. This is okay. To reform ourselves. We need to keep reforming ourselves first. And Allah la yugayru ma bakamin hatta yugayru ma bi'anfusma. Allah will never change people unless they start changing themselves. By themselves. By themselves. We have to reform ourselves and we have to look at the agony as if it was our agony. That time, we never looked at the color of the people, whether they're white or black or Arab or non Arab. We looked at the needs of the people, and with no resources, we have to create the resources, we have to sustain the process of creating the resources. You have to be very proud that you are with the only organization still functioning up till now and be functioning more and more and more with all the attacks on it from different parts of the world. Calling it names. Keep focusing on the people to please the Lord of the people to support you. To keep supporting you Ya Bnai, Ihfaz Allah, Ihfazak. Oh my son, the Prophet was saying to Abdullah ibn Abbas, said to Abdullah ibn Abbas, Oh my son, keep Allah in your heart. Allah will keep you in his heart. Keep Allah in your heart, you'll find Allah in front of you. And when you ask, ask Allah. When you seek help, seek it from him. And know, my son, that if the whole world stand up against you to harm you, and Allah, no, and Allah does not permit that, it will never happen. It will never happen. It will never happen. And know, my son, if the whole world stand up to support you, and Allah does not want it, it will never happen. Keep Allah to your side if you put the people in your heart. Because Allah is the Lord of hearts, not the Lord of images, not the Lord of the long beard or ginger beard or mascara of the eyes in the men as well. Allah does not look at the faces, the shapes, the colors of the people. Allah look at taqwa. This is how we started. 
you think that you can sustain and maintain any organization without taqwa, get lost. Absolute loss. You think that your education will make you the best? It's good, but temporary. But if you want your name to be written in gold in this life, and then gold life to come, make your education and your heart for Allah and for the people. You know this prayer, prayer, the last one, for the Niger. It was, a, it was a big lesson for us. We were having our drilling machine. Our drilling machine. And it was bringing water. As if Allah told us, you think that you bring the water from the earth and they don't bring the water from the skies to you? We stood up, all of us, to make the rain prayer. While we are aware in the middle of the rain prayer, we have seen the thunder and the lightning. And we were wet. And it took us hours to reach outside the land. So it would become very muddy and very sticky. You think that you bring the water with a machine from my land and they don't bring the water from the sky to you? The water from the machine in the land will bring the water to this small area. But from the sky, it will cover the whole land. We did it in China as well. We visited China 2001. Your July, July, I think, something, July 2001. And we went to the Northwest. You know where the Muslims live in the Northwest? In the most advanced, highly sophisticated country, in caves. C A V E S. Caves. You know, a young girl like you got married and she became pregnant. Her bedroom has been what they call it cut inside the mountain. Her bed is a part of the stone of the mountain. Part of it. There's no door. It's just blanket. You know what she was putting on the wall? Come on, sister. She looked like you. <laughs> She's from Igor community. And this is my. Come on, I stand next to me. Don't become shy. All right. All right. <laughs> so the girl was putting, cutting off the photographs of babies from newspaper and sticking it on the wall. We discovered that in this, in this uh, area. The rain did not fall for years. The mask has to be there for you to understand the agony she is living. Her agony because of her people. But you'll be talking about it later on. Thank you. Yes. I love you. <laughs> and Mustafa Osman and myself, you know what we did? We told the Chinese that raise your hand up and we have to make the rain prayer for the second time. But this, the one in China was before this one you saw. The Chinese, we told them what to say is Amin. Amin, Amin, Amin. It was not a prayer, it was dua, because neither myself nor Mustafa Osman had to do at the time. And within five or ten minutes of dua, it came again to cover the whole land. And the people of this area 
said we will historically mention when the people of Islamic Reef came to our area, they brought the rain with them. They brought the rain with them. Rain did not fall because we have beautiful faces, or because we have very nice dress. It came because Allah knows how to honor Islamic Reef, how to honor the work of the organization of the individuals. Individuals are tools. The third rain prayer was in Mandera, in North Kenya. And it was dry land. And we went with all of us, actually with the villagers, to stand there. But it did, it did not rain after we prayed. But by the time in the evening, the thunder and the lightning came and the whole area was covered by water for three days. This is the honor that Allah wants to give to you because of your heart, because of your soul, because of your mind, because of your feeling, because of your emotion, because of your vision, because of your message, because of you want to accomplish your mission. Money does not make men. Money does not make men. Money does not make history. Men make history and money. Leaders make history and money. Whether the leader is a woman or a man. Don't be taken by the resources that you don't have. Prophet Sallallahu had no resources in Mecca. But he was continuously making da'wah. All the companions were spread all over the world. They had no resources. But they were continuously with their manner, akhlaq, and fairness, and honesty, and transparency on making da'wah. And you are those people. You are those people. I talk about the best smile that I saw in the whole of my life it was in Pakistan, in Kashmir. We're coming from where you know from come from? We're coming from Afghanistan. By car or by plane. Kabul border seven eight hours. Border, Islamabad, another seven, eight hours. Islamabad to Kashmir, another, call to call it, two hours. Are you from Pakistan? They're enjoying it. Huh? And we were stopped on the mountain by an old man. We thought that he wants money. He wants money. Adnan. Shima, who is now working for UNDP, who was one of the young, young, young officers of Islamic Relief at the time. I told him, Adnan, he said, what? He said, you have money? He said, yes. Go and give him some money. 500 rubies, 500 rubies, 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 huh? Rubies. He went out, stopped the car, he went out to the man. The man said, ah! He was dumb, he couldn't be able to speak, and deaf as well. So we thought that what does he want? He wants the lift. The smell of his sweat knocked us down. You know why? Because we were weak, and we claimed that we are champion. Because we were not honest with ourselves. And we call ourselves champion. We don't be able to stand to the smell of the sweat of a man. And we claim that our tank saved the millions of people. See how our weakness of the Kajero or the Toyota, what they call it, the four-four wheel, whatever we call this, I can't remember the name. 
Land cruiser. It's very, very weak. We opened the window. And I was trying to look back at him. I saw a smile I never saw in my life. Smile of appreciation that is more important than the salary you want to take for the house that you are living in. Or the degree that you have. Smile of appreciation for a woman, a widow, or from an orphan, or from an elderly, or from a sick, from a refugee, or displaced. Never call them beneficiary. I will fight each one of you. We are the beneficiaries. As Dr. Muhammad Rahman said, rights holders. Yes. But the money is the money, and they pay our salaries. They are our employers. Whenever you go to those people, bend down for them to be elevated. You can't be elevated unless they elevate you. They have the lifts to elevate you to a standard or to a level that you will never imagine. That you will never imagine. The man was smiling with this golden smile. And I wanted you to know that I'm very fond of what you call it to addict. I'm addict. Addict. To media and camera. He said, who guided him to his area and took my camera and ran after him, tried to take my photograph with him. He said, Vanished. To be very honest, up till now, I don't know was he a real man or was somebody else. But I don't want to explain it more than that. Because of the smile on his face, I never saw a smile on the face of a human being in my whole life up till now. Like his smile. But he shh, disappeared. You interpret it the way you want. Here is our message. If you want to be responsible, you have to carry the responsibility. If you want to be accountable, accountable to whom? Accountable to whom? To Allah? Then to the people who are the cause of our salaries and our sustainable life. Because of the pleasure of Allah, when he looked at me and you and all of you, and said, yes, I give you. Because you really want to make a difference, not want to deliver a speech. People make speeches, beautiful speeches, and people cry. And also after, what's next? We talk about the Yugor, or the Rohingya, on the Bosnian crisis, or in the Ukraine nowadays, uh, Democratic Republic of Congo, five million internally displaced inside Congo. The richest, more richer than the Middle East. Much more richer. That's why they divided Congo Kinshasa and Congo Brazzaville. The Belgian, and the French, the highly civilized, the cultured nations. You know what the Belgian did to the people of Mozambique and people of what of Congo? They used to cut their hands because they are a little bit kind of slow in picking up the rubber. At least it, King what? King uh, uh, the name of the king. Leopold, 8 million Congolese. And you come and teach me civilization, fairness, equality, justice, know your religion. Stand up for the values of humanity and bring your value from humanity to humanity. 
That is at least eight or ten million Congolese. France at the museum. You know what they put in the museum? The skulls of the people who are they were defending their countries and calling them whatever they call in Paris. I don't know where even what the, 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 the huh? I don't know where. Well, it's, it's in France. Anyway. Spain, what is the Spanish? Spagnoli, Spagnoli, Poli, Alioli, Alleluia. They have a museum to show others how they were torturing. Torturing and torturing people at the site. In the very, you go there to where Cortuba or Granada, the museum. So I tell her, oh, so I tell her it's very dear to my heart. Because there's a lot of poetry about Toratilla. Valencia, Valencia, and others. This is not civilization. You are here, actually, to carry a message. And keep carrying it. The message of those orphans that you are going to meet tomorrow and after tomorrow. They are not photographs. They are not images. They are not just beautiful faces. They are human beings like myself and yourself. They want to be like you. A young boy who lost his leg, but he wants to become Cristiano Ronaldo. How can you make it for him? A young girl who lost her eyesight, both eyes, but she wants to be a scholar, a doctor, a surgeon. How can we make it to have this dream? Because their dreams, the dream of a child, did not know the reality, the difficult and awful reality of living the life on earth nowadays. Blind girl want to become a surgeon. And a one leg young boy would like to become Christian. Can you make this dream happen to him? He does not know that no, there's no in life. Here is a message. And for each one of us, and the people who are messengers, never put the flag of their message down. It's always risen high to be seen by others, whether others will follow them or not, or listen to them or not, or be with them or not, or support them or not, huh? will fight them or not. Many messengers and prophets of Allah came to earth, don't know their names, but they have done their duty. Deliver their message. And Allah knows the names and the places. This is our mission. We are not here to go to see Sultan Fatah only. How Sultan Fatah became Fatah? How Sultan Ahmad became Sultan? How those people walked on foot, even they go? Are the great grandfathers and mothers of the Turks? Have you seen a movie, not a movie, a series called Arturul? Arturul? It was from your, from your area. They walked it from China to come support the state here, the Duke state. Five men and women. But the women amongst them were equivalent to 1,000 men like myself. She brought men to lead, not men to dance, not men to act like women. That's why those women and men came from this area, well, what we call it the Ottoman Empire. Civilization came from here. Civilization came from Andalusia. Civilization came from Damascus. Civilization came from where? 
from Baghdad and the Kufa and Basra. Civilization came from Cairo, from every part, of the, from Yemen, from every part of the world. Because the woman, she got it, were behind every civilization. Women at the time were creating men, leaders, to lead, not than the Dudu girls, who uh, become very scared and shy of the religion. You stand up for your religion, Allah will stand up for you and behind you and in front of you. If you don't, it doesn't. It's take and give, or give and take. That's it. Our woman or girls should not be chicken to be eaten by rats. Same the boys. They should be chicken to be eaten by rats. They should be like lions to be roaring. And when they roar, everybody hears them. Whether it is a man or a woman. This is our mission. We should not leave after this eight or nine days without having a message that we're going to deliver. I don't want your money. You think that when you raise 10,000 pounds or 20,000 pounds or 100,000 pounds is enough? I want the money. I want your mission. I want your heart. I want your message. I want your life. Stand up for those people from Rohingya, from Uyghur, from Palestine, from Yemen, from Syria, from Africa, from Ukraine, from Congo, from Chad, from all these countries. You know why, sister? Because you are a global citizen. Care for the whole globe. No matter whom you care for, whether he is a Muslim or not, or she is a Muslim or not, it's making a difference. It's the universality of the universal message of Islam. This is our mission. Now we will go back. When you sleep, put your head the pillow, you dream about them, because they are with you, they are with you 24-7. I thank you very much for letting me to be with you, as I told you yesterday, I always be elevated when I come to be with younger people like myself. If you are in the 20s, I'm still 17. Next year will become 27. Sure? I'll be closer to your age. But today, I'm 10 years old and not younger than you. 10 years younger than you. No, no. For the girls, it will be 4 years. For the older girls, it's 21. But for you, it can be 40 or 50. But girls never grow beyond the age of 21 or 19. 21 or 19. So, Thank you very much. Jazakumullah khair. And the deal between me and you, whoever wants to carry a message to go with it when he leaves, or when she leaves, raise his hand. us to carry the message and you will see your hand present before Allah when you meet him and the angels you know in this room in this room there are thousands it's not a joke outside there are thousands it's not a joke 
above the roof, there are thousands. That's a joke. But every one of them supporting you. Because you are not here for your pleasure. You are here to make somebody else is happy. Please, for God's sake, at the age of 17, I'm going to leave soon. That you will be able to carry the flag and raise the flag of your message forever. To be risen. Inshallah. And never let anybody to put you down or to demoralize you or to deviate you from your mission or message. Jazakumullah khairan abdul minam. Assalamu